。早晨，歡迎大家翻返嚟啊 ！Learn with Tom Lee 嘅 A Level 數學 Mathematics。今堂我哋繼續第七課嘅 Trigonometry Model 七點五節 Simplify A cos x 正負 B sin x A 同埋 B 都係一個 constant。睇睇個定義。You can use the addition formula to simplify some trigonometric expression for positive value of a and b. a and b 都要係正數。a sin x 正負 b cos x， 我哋可以寫成 r sin x 正負 alpha。a cos x 正負 b sin x， 我哋可以寫成 r cos x 負正 alpha。你會見到前面係正負。後面會係負正，係啱啱相反嘅。With r 係一定要大過零，而 alpha 啦係由零至到九十度之間，亦即係由零至到 pi over 二。r cos alpha 就係 a，r sin alpha 就係 b， 而 r 嘅 value， 而 r 嘅 value 就會係 square root a square 加 b square。我哋可以用以上嘅 formula 去 solve 呢啲嘅 trigonometry function， 睇睇一條例子。You can express 3 sin x plus 4 cos x in the form r sin x plus alpha and r cos x minus alpha, where r greater than zero and alpha is from zero to 90 degree, and beta is from zero to 90 degree. Given your values of r, alpha and beta to one decimal space where appropriate. 阿仔就係點樣 express 呢個三 sin x 加俾四 cos x in the form of r sin x 加 alpha. r sin x 加 alpha 係等於 r sin x cos alpha 加俾 r cos x sin alpha. Let 三 sin x 等於四 cos x 係等於以上呢兩個，亦即係話 r cos alpha 等於三。而 r sin alpha 等於四，將 r sin alpha 除俾 r cos alpha 就係等於 tangent alpha， 亦即係四除俾三，揾翻個 alpha from 個 tangent 嘅 inverse 四除俾三，我哋就會知道 alpha 就係五十三點一度 to one decimal space。而 r square cos alpha 嘅 square 加俾 r square sin alpha 嘅 square。就等於三個 square 加四個 square， 亦即係 r square 等於廿五 ，r 就等於五，亦即係話我哋可以寫成三 sin x 加四個 cos x 係等於五個 sin x 加五十三點一度。而 b 呢一 part r cos x 減 alpha 個做法完全一樣 ，cos x 減 beta 咧就係等於 r cos x cos beta 加俾 r sin x sin beta。跟住前面嘅 step 一路做落去，亦都係揾返 tangent 嘅 inverse， 即係三十六點九度。r 亦都係五，所以成個 expression 我哋可以寫成三個 sin x 加四 cos x 等於五個 cos x 減三十六點九度。如果你留意到啦，呢、这個 cos x 減三十六點九度，而 sin 啦就係、是、x 加五十三點一度。如果你將五十三點一度加俾三十六點九度，啱啱好應該係九十度嘅，因為一個沙一個負沙，其他數冇變嘅話，跟住落嚟我就會同大家一齊做一啲嘅 exercise， 包括第一、二、三、四、五同埋第六條。而家大家準備好紙筆同埋計數機，我哋一齊去做數啦。Question number one A. Show that you can express sine x minus square three cos x in the form of r sine x minus alpha, where r is greater than zero and alpha is between zero and pi over two. First, we write down sine x minus alpha equal to r sine x cos alpha minus r cos x sine alpha. And if sin x minus square root three cos x is equal to r sin x cos alpha minus r cos x sin alpha, therefore we have r cos alpha equal to one, and r sin. Alpha equal to square root three. 
and then we divide our size alpha by r cosine alpha equal to tangent alpha and is equal to square root 3. If tangent alpha equals square root 3, that means alpha is equal to pi over 3. We take square of the r size alpha plus r square cosine square alpha is equal to r square and is equal to 1 square plus square root 3 square is equal to 4 and that's r is equal to 2. Therefore, we can express psi x minus square root 3 cos x equal to r psi x minus alpha where r is equal to 2 and then alpha is equal to pi over 3. So psi x minus square root 3 cos x is equal to 2 psi x minus pi over 3. In part b, Hence, we sketch the graph of the y equal to psi x minus square root 3 cos x. Because we know that y is equal to psi x minus square root 3 cos x is equal to 2 psi x minus pi over 3. Now we first sketch the graph of y equal to psi x. In here, we got when x equal to 0, we got y is equal to 0, and x equal to pi over 2, y equal to 1, equal to pi, and x y equal to 0, and then we have to curve like this. And from the minus size, we have to curve the other way around, like this. And this is the curve of y equal to psi x. Then we sketch the graph of y equal to psi x minus pi over 3. When we got the size of the function x minus pi over 3, we can shift the graph to the left side by pi over 3. This means here we shift the graph to this and then to this. So we have the graph is shift. Then we shift the graph to here and then to here as well. So we have so another curve I make it in red color. And this be y equal to psi x minus pi over three. And finally, we want to sketch y equal to 2 psi x minus pi over 3. That means the magnitudes of the function should be double. So we double the magnitude of the function. In here, 0 stays the same, and then we double to minus 2. This one stays the same, it's double to 2, and 0, this one stays the same. So we have the curve with double magnitudes in this way. So the final sketch of the function is this one. So this curve should be equal to y equal to 2 psi x minus pi over 3. This is the curve that we want to sketch. Question number 2a. Express 2 cosine feeder plus 5 side feeders in the forms of r cosine feeders minus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is from 0 to 90 degree. So we write down r cosine feeders minus alpha equal to r cosine feeder cosine alpha plus r psi feeder psi alpha and if 2 cosine feeder plus 5 psi feeder equal to r cosine feeder cosine alpha plus r psi feeder psi alpha 
Therefore, we have r cosine alpha equal to and r sine alpha equal 5. So we divide r sine alpha by r cosine alpha equal to tangent alpha and equal to 5 over 2. That's from the inverse function of tangent, we got alpha equal to 68.2 degree. And we take the square of r square psi square alpha plus r square cosine square alpha equal to r square and equal to 25 plus 4 equal to 29. So r equal to square root of 29. And therefore, we have 2 cosine theta plus 5 psi theta can be expressed into square root 29 cosine theta minus 68.2 degree. This one is alpha and this one is r. B parks hand solve for theta from 0 to 360 degree. The equations of 2 cosine theta plus 5 sine theta equal to 3. So we write this 2 cosine theta plus 5 sine theta is equal to square root 29 cosine theta minus 68.2 degrees. It is equal to 3. So cosine theta minus 68.2 degrees is equal to 3 over square root 29. And then we have theta minus 68.2 degree is equal to 56.15 degrees or theta minus 68.2 degree equal to minus 56.15 degree. So we have theta equal to 124.35 degrees or theta equal to 12.05 degrees. So the solutions of 2 cosine theta plus 5 sine theta equal 3 is that theta equal to 124.35 degrees or Theta equal to 12.05 degree. Question number three. If we have a function of theta equal to 12 cosine theta plus 5 sine theta, we write the function of theta in the form of r cosine theta minus alpha. So we write down r cosine theta minus alpha is equal to r cosine theta cosine alpha plus r psi theta psi alpha. And if 12 cosine theta plus 5 psi theta is equal to r cosine theta cosine alpha plus r psi theta psi alpha. Therefore, we have r cosine alpha is equal to 12 and r psi alpha is equal to 5. And we divide r psi alpha by r cosine alpha equal to tangent alpha and is equal to 5 over 12. So alpha is equal to 22.62 degree. And then we take the square of r cosine square theta plus r square psi square theta is equal to r square and is equal to 12 to the square plus 5 square and 169. That means r equal to 13. Therefore, we can express the function f of theta by 13 cosine theta minus 22.62 degree. B part, find the maximum values of function theta and the smallest positive values of theta at which it occurred. 
we have function of feeders equal to 13 cosine feeders minus 22.62 degree and when cosine feeders minus 22.62 degree is equal to 1 the function of feeders should be maximum so the maximum values of function of feeders is equal to 13 and when this happen is that's when the cosine feeders minus 22.62 degrees equal to 1. That means feeders minus 22.62 degrees is equal to 0. That means feeders is equal to 22.62 degrees. This is the minimum positive values of feeders when the functions of feeders is maximum to 13. Question number four, function of feeders equal to side feeders plus three cosine feeders. Given the function of feeders equal to R side feeder plus alpha form, where R greater than zero and alpha is from zero to 90 degree. Find the values of R and the values of alpha. So we write down R psi feeders plus alpha is equal to R psi feeder cosine alpha plus R cosine feeder psi alpha. And if psi feeders plus three cosine feeders equal to R psi feeder cosine alpha plus R cosine feeders psi alpha. Therefore, we have R cosine alpha equal to 1 and R psi alpha equal to 3. And we divide R psi alpha by R cosine alpha and we got tangent alpha equal to 3. And from the inverse function of tangent, we got alpha equal to 71.6 degree. And now we take the square of the R cosine alpha plus the R square size square alpha equal to R square and equal to 1 square plus 3 square equal to 10. And R is equal to square root of 10. Therefore, we can express the side feeder plus three cosine feeders by square root 10 side feeder plus 71.6 degree B part. Hence or otherwise solve function of feeders equal to and feeder from zero to 360 degree. The function of feeders is equal to square root 10 psi feeder plus 71.6 degrees is equal to 2. That's psi feeder plus 71.6 degrees is equal to 2 over square root 10. And we got feeders plus 71.6 degrees is equal to 39.2 degree. Or feeders plus 71.6 degree is equal to 140.8 degree. And then we have feeders is equal to 327.6 degree or feeders equal to 69.2 degree. Question number 5a, given that cotangent feeders plus 2 equal to cosecant feeder and show that 2 Side feeders plus cosine feeders equal to 1. We write down cotangent feeders plus 2 equal to cosecant feeder. This means cosine feeders over side feeder plus 2 equal to 1 over side feeder. And we multiply two sides by side feeder. So we have cosine feeder plus 2 side feeders equal to 1. So we proved this one is equal to this one. B pass. 
solve the equation cotangent theta plus 2 equal to cosecant theta. Theta is from 0 to 360 degree. We got cotangent theta plus 2 equal to cosecant theta. That means 2 sine theta plus cosine theta is equal to 1. And we express 2 sine theta plus cosine theta in the form of R sine theta plus alpha. R sine theta plus alpha equal to R sine theta cosine alpha plus R cosine theta sine alpha. Therefore, we have R cosine alpha equal 2 and R sine alpha equal 1. We divide R sine alpha by R cosine alpha equal to tangent alpha and equal to half. That means alpha is equal to 26.565 degree. So we take the square of R is equal to 2 to the square plus 1 to the square is equal to 5. So R is equal to square root 5. That means we can express the equation of 2 psi theta plus cosine theta equal 1 into square root 5 psi theta plus 26 point 565 degree equal to 1. That means psi theta plus 26.565 degrees is equal to 1 over square root 5. And theta plus 26.565 degree is equal to 26.565 degree. Or theta plus 26.565 degree is equal to 153.435 degree. That means theta is equal to 0 or theta is equal to 126.87 degree. Question number 6. Given Square root 2 cosine theta minus pi over 4 plus square root 3 minus 1 sine theta equal 2. We show that cosine theta plus square root 3 sine theta is equal 2. First, we got the square root 2 and then the cosine theta minus pi over 4. We write it to cosine theta cosine pi over 4 plus square root 2 sine theta sine pi over 4 plus square root 3 sine theta minus sine theta equal 2. What is cosine pi over 4 and sine pi over 4 is square root 2 over 2. So square root 2 times square root 2 over 2 cosine theta plus square root 2 times square root 2 over 2 psi theta plus square root 3 psi theta minus psi theta equal 2. Square root 2 times square root square is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we got cosine theta plus psi theta plus square root 3 psi theta minus psi theta equal 2. Plus psi theta minus psi theta cancel out. We got cosine theta plus square root 3 psi theta equal to 2. We prove them. This one is equal to this one. And B part solve square root 2 cosine theta minus pi over 4 plus square root 3 minus 1 psi theta is equal to for theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi. So we have cosine theta plus square root 3 sine theta equal to 2. We expect in the form cosine theta plus square root 3 sine theta 
in the form of r cosine phi plus minus alpha. Therefore, we have r cosine phi minus alpha equal to r cosine phi cosine alpha plus r sine phi sine alpha. And we have r cosine alpha equal to 1 and r sine alpha equal to square root 3. So we divide r sine alpha by r cosine alpha equal to tangent alpha and equal to square root 3. So alpha is equal to pi over 3. That means 60 degree, right? And we take the square of r equal to 1 square per square root 3 square equal to 1 per 3 equal to 4. So r equal to 2. So we can express cosine phi plus square root 3 psi phi equal 2 into 2 cosine phi minus pi over 3 equal to 2. And then we solve for the phi in this equation. In this equation, we will write cosine phi minus pi over 3 is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So phi minus pi over 3 is equal to 0. Or phi minus pi over 3 is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, phi is equal to 60 degrees. This means pi over 3 or phi is equal to 5 pi over 3 is 300 degree. There are two solutions. Is phi equal to pi over 3 or phi equal to 5 pi over 3? Muchas gracias. Again, thank you very much for listening to my tutorial videos. And if you need a pilot tutor for you to get a better mark or better score in your DSC examination in Hong Kong, the SAT examination or just you want to improve your mathematics and English for your college and university study, please contact me at chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk. My telephone number is plus one. 8526592 How do you know video? If you hope your mathematics and your English is better, you want to be a private tutor, you can contact me. You can contact me with your DSC exam or you want to SAT, you can contact me. Because I have a few people who have a few people. Thank you. Bye bye. Muchas gracias.